Hello, my beautiful Leos. My name is Jennifer from jenniferwalkerson.com here to bring you your monthly love forecast for what is your love interest, the one you're here for, the one you want to know about. What do they secretly want to tell you for the month of July? This is going to be for singles, couples, or anyone in between, or anyone who needs love messages. And if you'd like a personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com, or check out the description box below. Guys, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I really do appreciate it. All right. So let's jump right in. What does my Leo's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, what does my Leo's love interest secretly want to tell my Leo's for July? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, what does my Leo's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, what's my Leo's love interest secretly want to tell my Leo's for the month of July? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What does my Leo's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, what is my Leo's love interest secret they want to tell? What does need to see? Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, feels good. All right, so we got failure here. So they want to secretly tell you about some kind of failure. The card itself is, says, um, I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So they want to tell you about some kind of failure. Failure for what? Emperor, which represents control, uh, represents structure, organization, boss, uh, fatherly figure. So there's some kind of failure around lack of control or wanting some kind of control around the situation. Okay, and the fish card can represent money and career or it can represent emotions. So it's like they have a sense of failure because of something to do with control or lack of control or wanting things organized in a certain way when it comes to their emotions. Okay, so what's the blockage here? Friendship, something to do with friends that could uh, be influencing or blocking things in your situation. So friendship or friendliness. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So the blockage being something to do with friendship or friendliness. This seems to be some burdens, some challenges, some responsibilities here with the 10 of wands. So it's like weighing heavy on someone's mind about this friendship or this friendliness. Uh, obviously 10 of wands has a lot to do with burdens and responsibilities. And the cross card, again, is showing you some burdens and responsibilities or something to do with spiritual there. Um, so it looks like friends seem to be uh, influencing this or blocking this in some way. It's making this uh, person feel like a lot of heaviness on their mind uh, or uh, there's a lot of responsibility this person's dealing with and something to do with friends or friendliness is influencing things. 10 is about completion. So what's going on at the uh, foundation here? something pertaining to pride hmm I love myself and I see myself in everyone so there's a sense of pride here going on uh, which is is leaving this situation kind of stuck and stagnant okay with the hangman energy pertaining to love right because then we see in the current situation this person is feeling like they want control over their emotions they want things structured and organized things in a certain way or there's something to do with uh, career and finance because of the fact the emperor can be like a boss kind of energy and they don't want to have a sense of failure there and obviously if we look at the blockage there could be people influencing this or something to do with friends or the fact that friend or friendliness is a burden or responsibility there that's blocking things they're, they're dealing with responsibilities pertaining to friends or friendliness so in the past there were some indecisions here I use my intuition for all aspects of life um, and six of swords there was indecisions about healing and recovery and moving past challenges uh, seeing the light at the end of the tunnel with the six of swords energy and the clover card shows me something to do with luck or risk so with some indecisions here, uh, there was a want to move past challenges, to move into calmer waters, to see light at the end of the tunnel because of luck or wanting luck on their side, or there was some sense of risk there, which brought us to the situation where they wanted things control, or they felt there was a lack of control when it comes to their emotions, and that was a sense of failure for them because of friends or friendliness is a burden or responsibility that they're dealing with. And there's a sense of pride here and feeling stuck and stagnant when it comes to love. Okay. At the head of the matter, there's a want for some kind of peace. 
I am a, be a being of love and I release all negative energy, okay? And reconciliation, a healing with the judgment card energy. For some of you, it may be a reconciliation pertaining to the past. Possibly for this person, it may just be an internal healing or recovery going on within them. And there is some kind of crossroads that they're at. So they want some kind of peace. They want some kind of recovery. They want some kind of reconciliation. They're a bit out of a crossroads or they need to make a choice with the cross cards energy. Okay, so they're in the process of making a choice. There's uh, something that they feel that is to do with their pride, their self-respect, and there's something stagnant or stuck that they're trying to see from a new way and a new perspective when it comes to love. In the near future, there seems to be some acceptance, so they secretly want to tell you about some acceptance. I'm learning to accept the things I cannot change. So it looks like going into the near future, they're having a sense of acceptance around the situation because of their wish, their hope, or they're having more optimism here with the star card energy when it comes to talking and speaking. So this person has a sense of acceptance and optimism and or they're working on their wishes here with the star card energy. Okay, so how do they see you? They see you as a regret for them. They have a lot of regret around this situation or this connection. I know that I cannot change the past. So there's a lot of regret about the past. There's a lot of focus on the past. Why? Because of arguments and disputes and challenges here with the five of wands energy because of something to do with a person. So and also that could have been involved with these arguments and disputes, these challenges, this competition as a part of this regret. Five is a challenge or change around the situation. All right, so how do they feel about you? They feel like they want some type of relationship here. I see that with the relationships card. I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So they feel like they want a sense of relationship and they want, they feel like you are uh, romantic or they want to take an action towards love and romance. They want to be helpful here. They want to be that uh, chivalrous kind of person where they feel that you are with the Knight of Cups energy. And the child card shows me that they want a fresh start, a new opportunity here with the child card energy. So there's a sense that this person wants some type of relationship with you where they feel like that and they want to take an action towards love and romance or they, they, they feel like you are you know, very helpful and very romantic and they have a sense that they want a fresh start, a new opportunity here with the child card energy. Or for some of you, there could be children involved too as well with the child card energy, with this feeling here. Okay, so let's see what the influence is. The influence seems to be a lot of worry and stress. So um, I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. So it seems like there's a lot of worry and stress here with a worry card that seems to be influencing things. And this is making the energy between you and this, this person defeat it. So there's defeated energy because of this worry, this stress. Should I stand up and fight? Should I walk away? And it's obviously because of romance here, or this, this is recognized about the situation with the moon card energy. So five is about challenges or changes. So as we go back here, how does this person see you? They see you as they have a lot of regrets because there's arguments and disputes or competition because of a particular person. And obviously we come back to the block, it's something to do with a friend or friendliness and it seems like there was a burden or responsibility there. They have a sense that there's something stuck or stagnant when it comes to love and they have a sense of pride here or self-respect that they're working on. They want peace and they want a reconciliation and they're at a crossroads because they need to make a choice. And if we come here, they're trying to be hopeful and trying to be accepting of this situation and, and when it comes to talking and speaking. So that's what they secretly want to tell you that they want, they, they, there's a sense of acceptance around this and having hope and optimism when it comes to talking and speaking to you. So what's your advice? Freedom. So free yourself from the situation. Uh, give yourself space. Whoops. Give yourself space from this. And the card itself says, I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness and health. This represents working on healing and recovery and judgment, reconciliation, healing, a renewal here. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. So give yourself space for the situation, work on healing and recovery. And if you'd like to, you can reconcile with this person with the judgment card energy. The writer card represents news or messages. The coffin card represents ending or stopping something. 
and the whip card represents some kind of arguments or disputes or hurt or pain. So ending some kind of hurt or pain when it comes to news or messages. News or messages about freedom or space from the situation, ending or stopping something so you can heal in recovery and focus on reconciliation, healing, not arguing and feeling like something is repetitive or hurtful here with the whip card energy. All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you look at personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com or check out the description box below. I love you guys so much and have a great rest of your month.